I worked uh, eight months on this and now this is the Mediterranean Sea and we're going to see the ocean. I'm crossing the Pyrenees. It's 10.26, I'm leaving. We are gonna follow the GR10 for two or three days, maybe four. And after that, we will be on our own. Feeling about this, I have a very good feeling about this. We started down there about an hour ago. Where are we going? We are actually on the border now and we're not gonna quit it for 10 days. Lapinho. Beginning of day two. It's uh, 5.15 and uh, we are leaving. Yesterday was kind of a warm-up. We did uh, 49k and 2,300 meters up. And today we're gonna go for hopefully 60 kilometers and 3,000 or 4,000. Sun is rising. Starting to see the blue, the yellows and the reds. So we have a... Uh, Half an hour before the sun rise. Wow. Big town of the day, Alsotec, and I'm gonna refuel, refill everything, have a big meal, and go back at it until 8 p.m. and it's uh, 11. Do you see that? This is where we're going. Oh yeah, we have uh, about 2,300 meter up, straight up, coming, and uh, that will be Kanigu. this then down now back here we are 10k away from Kenigu 10k Straight down, 
like straight very dangerous it's the beginning of the third day um, this refuge was super nice they even opened it for me even if it was closed um, amazing stuff basically oh such a cold morning but it's finally day I'm in Spain and I uh, forgot to print the map where I am right now so it's really confusing to find the path and I might last up to four hours today um, my mistake I just I thought I had it and I and I didn't it's a very hot day I'm gonna try to make the same thing as yesterday so 62k and 4,000 we we'll see. I'm going here. The days are long, very long. Ready? mode night is gonna fall super fast my watch died too yep just gonna be happy that that day ends day number four we are having a late start because we need to let the store open uh, we are about for Romeo right now refilled time for a good day it's gonna be a short one with a 50k, 13 hours, something like that. Still a pretty good day. Going to see a lot of lakes today. And this is the first one. That mountain is very particular to me because uh, uh, about 13 years ago with my parents, we're hiking around it. And when we're going the other side uphill, uh, that's the first time I actually run uphill of anything. So actually, I didn't knew it then, but that was the first bit of trail running I did in my life. And now we are more than 190k into the RHRP and uh, I'm seeing it again. So 
very special. Yeah, that mountain. The biggest mountain there. This is where we're going. Here's the dam, and here's the lake. He goes straight to hell. <laughs> it's like this, this, and then up. This is the kind of path you're very happy it's not raining. It just went straight. That's can you go? We were there, and all the way like this, like this, and now we're going here. You ready? Oh, nice! You have to love the views. You have to love the view. So many lakes today. So many lakes. This is where we come from and this is where we're going. We're going this way. Night is uh, pretty close and I'm navigating with kerns. So I'm trying to get up the pass as soon as possible and try to get down. And that way I will be in a safer position. It is dark, but Welcome to Andorra. This is Andorra. Uh, shift my kit to night mode with that view. This is where we're gonna sleep tonight. I have everything I need, I have food and everything, so just gonna sit there. Straight from the back. Sleeping pad ready. It's gonna be so warm. It's gonna be a good night. Food tonight is a quiche and a piece of brie. Yeah, water is going to be a problem tomorrow. Time to go to bed now. This is day number five. We're having a lovely day in Andorra today. It's the morning. Made a free KD tour. I couldn't find the proper path in the darkness. But now that's all right. down and up again. That was a tough one to get, really tough, but then the view.
last big up of the day. Not feeling great today. I'm lacking food and the problem is uh, everything is freaking closed everywhere. France. Andorra. France. Guess what? It's closed! Every single one of them are closed. It's gonna be a very long day. Not even 40k in and I'm already 12 hours 30 in. This is bad. I'm way too slow on that terrain. There's no way I can make more than 3 km an hour. 2 is even great. It's really technical. Really difficult. I mean, check it out. Yeah, there's a path in there. With the big blocks. I don't like those uh, rules of engagement at all. I don't like it. That's kind of a problem because if I was doing this for the day, I would be fine. But I cannot commit to that on a long run. It's too much risk to take with a bigger backpack. Yeah. Just right at the edge of the comfort zone. Right on it. I hope I find the path down now. Otherwise, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. That was the down. And it keeps going. And we're going there. There are hunters. I heard three gunshots. I see the shooters. They don't see me. And the problem is they're shooting in the direction of the trail. They are just down there. But it's fine. They saw me, I make a noise after a gunshot. And they pulled the carabine down too, so all is perfect. Nice. They wave back and also I know I know it's safe. So I just talked with the two hunters and uh, they gave me food, but like a lot of it basically solved my problem. And I have freaking food. This is ace. So thank you guys. Really nice hunters. I was scared you didn't see me, but you did. And, and then, wow, thank you so much guys. Thank you. We're sleeping in that town tonight. Beginning of day six, we left the refuge three hours ago. Uh, we're going to Spain today. We are meeting my old friends, the big blocks. Much easier to go uphill on this than downhill. Right in front, in the middle. Whoa, that's the path. Well, there is no path, but that's the direction. We're in the last bit of the corridor now. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> We're coming from down there. This is super straight. Then 
we get as a reward this night is coming I found the refuge I'm gonna sleep here tonight it's been a very long day There is even electricity in this one. Super nice. Little bit of food, a lot of sleep. It is a glorious morning, but it's impossible to follow the trail. Help from other trail angels. They gave us uh, almost a day worth of food. They are just saving the entire thing, you know. No question asked. Trail angels are basically allowing me to do this. It's beautiful. The terrain wasn't forgiving today. Here you have about, you know, 15 kilometers of easy terrain. Today, seven. We are on top of the last hill of the day, and um, I'm really not looking forward to the downhill. You know, going down those kind of things. Something like this, and where we have to go is here. I'm through. The hard bit is done, but holy smoke, there was a moment I was almost hanging in the air. Ugh. Oh, by the way, the lake here, this is where we're sleeping tonight. So, almost done, just have to finish that more regular part. That's the refuge, Woo! so close now, so close. There it is, what a day my friends. What a day, and we're doing it all the same tomorrow. Just another day in the Pyrenees. Ah, oh, it's a glorious morning. Day number eight. I just made an important navigation decision. Uh, I decided to not follow one of the paths I marked as being the good one and take a southern one. I'm gonna catch back the GR11. Uh, I'm doing that because this morning I saw little ice in the morning, you know, frost, and uh, I was way up and I would have been that altitude in the dark to finish and to start. Um, tonight and next morning. Safe option that I just picked is um, as long, almost as difficult and obviously way safer. And also the refuge is now in Spain so there is a 90% chance it's open versus only 10% for the one that was in France. Damn! I think the change of plan is a really good idea. Basically avoid pitching the tank above 2,500. Uh, that's a pretty good idea. That's a cool bridge. We're going over there. Where are we sleeping tonight? Refuge for the night, 50k down for the day, we just have to join the refuge now. What a good day, what a good day. 
Oh, what a day, my friends. It's open. Woo! Day number nine. That's the top. Be a good day. Yeah, it is really dark. I'm so hungry today. I don't know why I had a proper meal last night. I'm just so hungry. Just got a lot of food in the valley and now we up again. So we're going like this on the left, then there's one refuge on the other side of this. And then we're crossing again and there will be the next refuge. Sheep are waiting for me. Just hope there is no dog. I think on the other side of this is a uh, Gavarni in France. That's where we are supposed to go but the refuge was closed so we stayed in Spain. This is so vertical. It's like glaciers and Holy smoke! What a day! Tomorrow morning, we're going up there. We do this, like this, and then we go up. What a good day! We're gonna sleep here, we're gonna have a hot shower, and uh, in the morning, that would be 1400 one shot straight up. Taking uh, quite a bit up today. We are taking uh, 1507 kilometer. Yeah, that is painful. This is day 10. The landscape is rising a little. Very hard. But now we are through. The rest of the day should be pretty easy. And that's a very good news. And we should be able to do our 50k today too. On top of the world! On top of the world! It's really cold but worth it! There's a chain here up the time and run the last 39k. Easy stuff. Just past 500 kilometers. I think I have about 300, 350 now. It's endless. Spent a part of the day in the bottom of valleys, and now we're going up again. Night is almost here, but the good news is we are done with the difficulty of the day. Nice. Trail just vanished in the dark. I'm going back from the last point. I think I know. 
where the tray was if it's clean I might just sleep there this is insane it just purely vanished and I was following this it looks like a trail for about 2k and at the end of it these are a freaking waterfall like a freaking wall so obviously it's not the path I found the trail back I'm keeping going absolutely terrible to navigate and now I found this that's a dirt road and it's going down which means this is going all the way oh this is such a good news such a relief oh oh what a shit day <laughs> well no the day was fine it's just the end that is really shitty found a small hotel and they are waiting for me until 11 at night that is super nice I don't think I will be able to eat tonight that's okay I will have a late start in the morning have a big breakfast go some shopping in the city and uh, to get new food now that this is a big day I'm already 60k in it's gonna finish by 65 66 maybe chase is almost over I'm starting to see the lights of the town can you see it There it is. Woo. Yeah. Good morning. We had a good breakfast. We have food. Time for a good day. Sergio, who helped me to go up this, and now he's going, he's going here. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good luck. Hasta luego. <laughs> luck. A good man. That's all it was. He's a really good man. We went a little bit down and up again. And now we are crossing actually the border. We're going to France again. It's been a while. In the beginning it really looked like summer. As far as we're going, it starts to look like winter. Dark clouds. That's tomorrow's storm. Uh, looks cool though. Going there. Huge. Found it. I'm in the refuge, I found everything, everything is good. I'm gonna eat some food, think about what to do with the storm tomorrow and uh, pre prepare my kit, basically. It's uh, 8 or something like that, so we're gonna be able to go to bed early today. That's nice. Way nicer than yesterday. There's actually light! I found light! Nice! Two salamanders having some fun over there. Oh. That's a good day, or well, at least for them. There was a lot of rain this morning and there is no rain now. I have about a three hour window before the big storm. I decided to get off the ridge because I didn't want to get into the storm on the ridge. That means I'm making a detour. I don't know how long is the detour, it could be 10k. But the risk of being on the ridge while there is the storm is just too big. And I was up there this morning and you don't want to be there. Um, so making a detour, hopefully that will allow me also to get some food. Um, which I have a, a day full worth, but the thing is I know I won't be able to buy tonight. So I need to find a way to find food so that I have food for tomorrow. So I have some good news. Um, 
I am doing a 10k detour, but in the process, actually the storm is staying in Spain and there will be only rain here. Which means I can still move, I don't have to stop for two hours because of the storm. And that's really good. The storm is behind us. Yeah, that's all of that is Spain. And France, blue sky-ish. I have food for two days. Oh yeah. I really hope the storm stays in Spain. That will mean it was such a good call. This is holding. I mean, it's dark sky, but that holds. Rain is here. Well, at least we're in the forest, not on a ridge. Crappy weather. <laughs> yeah, the weather is shit. <laughs> That's all right. We are half uh, the day in and did 30k already, so that compensates. And we still have all the food, so you know that really does compensate. In the distance, that's flat. That means I'm almost done. Might take me four days, but it's actually flat in the distance. This is beautiful. After so many hills, mountains, valleys, oh, seeing that flat right now feels so good. Stop for the day. Yeah. So now I have about three hours for night. Yeah, it rained all day. Wind was crazy too. It's yeah, one of those days. Problem I have right now is that uh, um, there is very little refuge, cabana, or anything like that uh, available on this trail. There might be one. But if it's closed, I'm gonna need to pitch the tent. I don't like that because I know it's gonna rain tonight. So that would be great if I can avoid that. Rain is back. Of course it is. Oh, roll in the hut at the bottom. Nice. So this is not exactly a house or anything. Look what I found in the corner. It's dirty, but who cares? That's like an actual proper bed. I just got food. I'm warm in my sleeping bag in the barn. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is a grey day. It's raining-ish, but not as bad as yesterday, so that's okay. I don't see anything today. Uh, hopefully we will later. I kind of start to feel like it's the end, you know? The, the big mountains are gone and everything. So, yeah, being patient right now. Yeah, that's basically it right now. You know, 50k per day, eat, sleep, repeat. Mm. See? Alright. Actually, the sky is turning blue, but that's the damage of two days of rain. Feeling lucky it's flat and not going downhill. I think the DRs are going a little bit everywhere today. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Where am I going again? Oh, the one on the left, okay. I think we're going up like this. Not sure yet. We lost the trail, so we're crossing like this. <laughs> My feet needed a good wash anyway, so it's kind of deep. So. Woo! It's cold. Oh, it's water from the mountains in October. What do you expect? Oh, by the way, you see there my shoes? How broken they are! <laughs> yeah, they are smashed.
the sun. Woo! It's been hot, but well, it's the end of the day, so it's not gonna last long, but it's kind of hot. It means we might have good weather for the last two days after that. I haven't seen fresh water in two days. I did 45k so far today and um, I had less than half a liter of water and the day before I had a liter. There is just no water here. I was just not expecting to have to do more than 80 kilometers to find fresh water. I'm going to refuge for the night. Uh, hopefully we'll be open with everything, water and food. Uh, if there is no water, it's going to be freaking a problem. Uh, if it's not open, I can pitch the tent, I guess, or keep going, I don't know. And if there is no food, I have food. But, you know, warm for me is better. Refuge for the night. Come on. Let me open. Oh, yes. It is open and warm and clean. Oh, nice. All right, look for water. Water, there is water. We're gonna have a good night. Dry, warm, beautiful. I made a fire to get warmer. My feet are freaking smoking. Can, can you see that? That's my feet. Wow. All right, bedtime. Good night. Good morning. Yeah, we got some pink clouds today. It's day 14. We're gonna try to go as far as possible today. Bloody long today. It feels like forever. I mean, we're making a very good time. We have been gone for five hours. We have 22K in. That's really good. That means we are almost for 66, 67K today. That's really good. But it just, oh, it feels long. Oops, got out. <laughs> now they drop on the trail, things like that.
sure because we're going this way. Well, that's all right. I'm still finishing. Yeah, cannot see shit. I'm done. It's 9.52 and it took me less than 14 days to cross the Pyrenees solo with just my backpack. The beach. Um, I'm freaking freezing. I'm super happy. I wish it was better weather to finish but this is how it goes. Um, I don't really know what to say, it just has been such a massive commitment to be here and to do all of that and I'm just glad it's over, I'm going to be able to rest. At first I thought that was uh, 550k and it turned out to be 800, uh, <laughs> you know those details. Um, yeah I'm just going to find a bar and trying to get warmer. Clouds. Woo! The hours are going a little bit everywhere. 